In this video, I'm gonna show you three books for getting better at Celtic and Viking inspired art, whether you're trying to draw zoomorphics or draw Celtic knots and stuff like that. So let's check them out. And we're gonna go from most intense to most practical. And if you wanna check them out for yourself, I've got all three of them linked down in the description. So the first one I think that is most intense is this one right here called Celtic art. And as you can see, there's a lot going on in this one. It's kind of a pseudo reference slash pseudo how-to guide but it's very very detailed very nuanced it dates back a really long time they've taken a lot of references from the book of Kells and uh, this one doesn't really show you how to do so much it will give you step by step it is a great resource to have for your Celtic inspiration especially if you're gonna work on some sort of project I've used it before for like leather work or something like that if you want something really detailed this book is going to have it for sure so the second out of these that's maybe a little bit less intense but still more of a reference book is this one right here which is a specific issue volume two of the viking and slavic design there are a bunch of different versions of these that will show you how to do different things but as you can see inside it is still more of a reference style book however you can tell that from the previous book it's a little bit simpler it's a little bit easier to understand this is one of the specific styles in the kind of viking or the kind of Celtic Celtic art, uh, you know, everything from the knot work to zoomorphics and like things like that. So this one is a little bit simpler. You could check out the other volumes as well. I know that you're going to like them a lot, uh, but this one is great, especially if you're gonna do stuff like I've done right here with like sketching out some birds or maybe some really simple zoomorphics like that. Again, I did like a leather watch band and I think that this book really helped give me the inspiration because it's a little bit simpler. It's a little bit more of that refined, less extreme detail uh, in this book that I was able to use for inspiration. So last but not least, the Celtic Knot Workbook, the Creating Celtic Knot Workbook, I think is the simplest one because as you can see right here in the beginning of the book, it does have some cool how to's. It shows you how to set up the dot grid and it shows you how to go and where to loop to close your knot if you want to branch off and make another path or something like that. It also gives you a lot of really cool trinity uh, step by step process for how to make the trinity symbol or how to make Celtic circles or even here you can see there's even step by step for making specific zoomorphics whether that is an animal zoomorphic or if it is a person zoomorphic like the classic kind of man zoomorphic and there's a lot of really easy simple step by step process in this book so if you're looking at how to get started I might get started with this one as you can see here I've done some of the step by step processes and it's super easy to get these knot works I just jotted them down in a bullet journal like this and I can easily set up my dashes I could close my loops I can branch off and do something like a cross this book was really helpful and I think that it's gonna help you as well well that's it for these three books let me know if you find those helpful down in the comments if you ordered one yourself let me know what you think about them I know I just gave you a sneak peek of what's inside but maybe that'll help you in making your decision if you're trying to get better at Celtic artwork illustration drawing knot work all of that kind of stuff thanks so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more cool book resources or other vintage stuff or occasionally I'll do like a playing cards video or a vintage goods video or something like that uh, I would definitely appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and come say hey over on Instagram I'm active over there you can shoot me a DM tag me whatever if you're doing some kind of Celtic artwork or something like that I'd be happy to meet you so I will see you in the next video